Hey, hey, hey. Well, it was another quiet one for tradings in the shop this week. And I was a bit worried that there wouldn't be a video for you this week. But we're going to Bolton Toy Fair. So we get to have a look around there and see what bargains I might be able to pick up. They're not going to be bargains, are they? It's all going to be really pricey. Nah, let's see what we can find. Come on. Stalls all set up and we're going to get straight into a good look around this toy fair. Normally I'll just show you the highlights but this time I'm going to have a proper look around with you all and well I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to leave the sound on apart from when I have a few private conversations with dealers so sorry about that but that's between me and them <laughs> not for you <laughs> and when I might hear a naughty word in the background I've tried to cut that out as well anyway enjoy and have some fun How you doing mate? You alright? <laughs> Morning, you're right. Nice darling. Nice darling. <laughs> All right. <laughs> She's got armfuls. All right. Not bad yourself. Yeah, I 
Yeah. You're all right, well. Not bad, thank you. <laughs> all right, okay. <laughs> Is that what you're calling it these days? Yeah. <laughs> right there. Trying not to get you in it because I know you don't want to be in it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I appreciate that. I'm sure others don't care, but oh, I don't, I don't. you specifically told me, so I'll go out of my way. Doesn't I don't watch your videos? Though. Oh, no. oh yeah. thank you. I, I know you watch the Toy Fair ones. I don't know if you watch any of others, but... Uh, I watch them sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. It's got some good stuff this time. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, of course you have. You know you have. Uh, well... You know you are. It's still there, though. <laughs> it's still there. Why, have they been out a few times? No, no, no. Oh, well, there we go, then. For sure. A lot of it. I've got uh, I've brought those bootlegs with me that I have. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I thought I'd give them a try. The, the bootleg. You've got bootleg, haven't you? There, no, there were a lot of bootleg um, Ultraman figures that I got in a few weeks ago. Oh, that's yeah. China ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was just a job lot on eBay, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. Yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> what have you got on uh, I think it's either seven or eight quid each, right. so it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 it's alright. Right. And some of those colours are just nuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the whole point, though, isn't it? It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. I've got these MCCP ones here. Um, the other day. These colours are absolutely amazing. Oh, yeah, they're nice, though, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I might actually have that one. I won't lie, I'll give you yeah? Yeah, I, yeah. Opened, I had to keep a few myself, it was too nice. I think you've got the same two that I've picked up there. <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got a few coming as well from, um, I've got a few coming as well, but yeah. I had to pick some on it. Yes, yeah, tell me about it. Yeah. I just I just had a, a, a big box coming from Hobby Link. Yes, I, I, I've my box yeah. from Hobby Link lately. And yeah. the shipping's damned expensive. Yes. It, it were like 50 odd quid surface, yeah, but so I like two months. But warehouse is yeah, yeah, I like that. I like yeah, that. Oh. I, I was looking for the other one, so I, I want the train. I want the train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's yeah. what I really wanted. Oh, um, wow. And I kind of bought that with a kind of like, well, oh, that'll do. But then I've, I've got it now and I'm thinking, you know, I don't really like it. Destroyed the display. Oh, I don't want it. It's, uh, it's there to be destroyed. <laughs> it's there to be sold. Uh, yeah. I know a few people who go mad for pocketeers. I know, well, I, to be honest, that's something I collect as well. Um, uh, well uh, you know, w -W because it was on my uh, watch list. I kept them popping up and then uh, you keep the seeing deals afterwards, don't you, after you've got them? Yeah. But no, uh, it, it was like 50 odd quid shipping from, that's cool. from, 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 from that's Japan cute. and then 54 quid uh, customs. Oh, my Jesus. Yeah, I, think I, I think I just had to pay 30, 35 <sighs> shipping quid yesterday. To get my order for I've got, got them, haven't I? It's alright. How did I miss that? I sold, I just sold an Oculus one as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. That went this morning. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? It's a kid robot, though, so it's reissue. It's oh, is it new? It's a reissue, yeah. I thought it were in good condition. <laughs> yeah, it's a reissue. So, it's two, like, two thousand, like 2006, it was. Right, okay. Yeah, cool. yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't cool. sell it as an original. No, I know you wouldn't, I know you wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah the last one as well, probably. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, I'll be back in a bit. No, it's alright, man. <laughs> I'll see you later. It's <laughs> okay, mate. <laughs> How are you doing mate? You alright? Are you well? Oh, call yourself? 
Not bad, thank you. Not bad at all. Trading or just buying? Trading. Just over there. <laughs> I'm on this side for a change. I hope you have a good day, pal. You too. See you later. You're all right. Hello, how are we doing? <laughs> Inception. <laughs> are you okay, mate? Not bad, thank you. <laughs> oh, look at him. Look at him showing off his wares. Showing off his wares. Yeah. Okay. 
yeah, yeah. yeah. Same people, isn't it? All right, how are you doing? Just yourself. Not bad, thank you. You moved it, you know. I have, have yes, you? yeah. They finally let me into the where the big money is. <laughs> <laughs> Probably see you next week then. Yeah, <laughs> see you later. Sorry. Right. <laughs> Not bad yourself. <laughs> Better when it's all over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the going home part, so that was the best bit, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's some grommets. Oh, it is. Not in particular, no. Well, actually, there is one that I want, if you've got it. It's the Blacklight Godzilla. I have the Black Godzilla. No, the bright so pink one. No, never mind. I have the Hudson as well, because I've got so many. Yeah. And out over him in a minute, but no. Yeah. It's an older one now. It's a couple of years old. Yeah. I, I had it in stock. Kept one. Yeah. Forgot to take it off the website, sold it, and had to send mine. <laughs> so, yeah. Same thing happened to me. Do you remember yeah. the Polaroid? Yes, yeah. I took too many with them, sold them all, and I can't get them. Yeah, you realise that you didn't have them yourself. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's only because my cabinets have black light in them, so they're really. Well, they pop. <laughs> See you later, have a good day. You got a nice mix here. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah, a little bit of everything. Yeah. Everything for everyone. Definitely. Well, what mighty match you got? Is it just the yeah, small match? Just that one. Just I that had one. another one, but yeah, I sold yeah. that just about half an hour ago. Fair enough. So, what was it? Yeah, it was the, I shouldn't ask. one of the little one. Um, oh, I can't remember which one it is. One of the sort of little ones. Um, right. I, can't, I have no idea what the names are on. Fair enough. So yeah, bargains to be had, so I've got the, tur the new turtles here up for a fiver each. Yeah, five oh, you can't go wrong, can you? Fifteen, some of these uh, ones in here. Carded toy there, eight quid each. 
can't go wrong at all. Pound bin on the floor, I can't cut the two of them without me pound bin. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll come back a bit later once I've put the camera away. Yeah, that's all right, so, mate. I'm, I'm just there. <laughs> oh, sweet. Excellent. See Okay, mate. <laughs> Oh, did you now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, don't be saying how it is over there. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, no, feel free to win many times. That one in the cage, actually. Yeah. I like the one on top in the cage, actually. Yeah. Yeah, you can't clean them. I've tried and you cannot clean them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they're always mucky because they just hold on to it. I put them in the in the bath. Hot soapy water. No, what touch it? Yeah, yeah, no. I think they fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Yeah. Oh, nice. How are you doing, mate? You okay? Yeah, I'm all right. That Batmobile's tasty, isn't it? Yeah, it's unusual. It's yeah. not obviously perfect, but it, it's unusual. Nice. Well, have a good day today yeah, then. <laughs> See you later, mate.
You're not finished setting up yet. Bloody hell. I never feel like I've been beaten up. <laughs> you're out. You look rough, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> and there we go again. <laughs> Come down. Very well, thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, come on, man, come on. On the sprue. <laughs> 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 I tell you what, I'll put you on royalties. Thank yeah, you, no, I earn nothing, and you can have a percentage of that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll I'll do it without VAT. This oh, this yeah. once, just this once. <laughs> Yeah. Well, this is a reach, really. This is not a reach. 
Back at Nima Studios again, again, again. Hey, it's Nick. Say hello, hello Nick. Hello. <laughs> hello, Cosmic Toy People. <laughs> cosmic Toy People. Cosmic Toy People. That sounds like a thing, does it that? It does, doesn't it? It does sound like a thing. So, what, 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 what you got to show us today? Oh, what's, ne what's new? I can, I can same. see something. Look at that. Look at the glow box. That's, just, that's just for you. Oh. That is, Gary. Yeah, he knows me, he knows me far too well. Yeah. No, we've, been, we've been having some fun with some Star Wars stuff, so, you know, if you're going to have fun with Star Wars stuff that glows, you kind of need to show it glowing. Oh, and that was what we were trying to do anyway, we were yeah. basically saying, well, how do, we, how do we show this off in broad daylight, in the middle of a semi room um, you know make sure that we can show it glow so we made it we made a black box with a UV light in it <laughs> and it's and I know honestly I'm kind of chuffed it's working quite well it works. apart from as it we works. were talking about earlier purple where basically you know you need something the size of a stadium floodlight you do, to, you do. to make the purple work um, but yeah the, the rest of them I think are, are looking quite cool and it's again it's just you know it's just fun so is, it, it. is this the Pride Holograms? You could say that. You could say that. I, I couldn't possibly come in. Yeah, you could say that. And we've got Cosmic Cowboys. You've got Cosmic Cowboys. Yeah, you've got Cosmic Cowboys. Do you want to tell us a little bit about Cosmic I do, Cowboys? I do want to say, I, you know what, I think I, I, can, I can tell you a little bit. I think we probably need to do, um, we've, been, we've been like trying to do a live stream together for ages. We have. And I think we probably should, especially with what you've got coming up that we're making for you, <gasps> which I don't want to say anymore. Oh. What's um, that? Uh, well, do we have something in the works? We do, we do. It's just... So what with that coming, um, and obviously Cosmic Cowboys from us, I could, I could talk for hours, so we probably do need a, a, an actual full live stream coming up. Yeah. So, um, but Cosmic Cowboys, for those guys that know, and those guys that don't, um, was a toy line made by Acumus Toys in 1987. Acumus Toys were based in Nottingham. Right? Um, a lot of people think they're a Brave Star bootleg. They are not. They came out the year before. 
right? They are essentially, in terms of retro, or what we now call legacy toys, they are a line of action figures that consists of six characters, um, three villains, sorry, two villains, three, three uh, two villains, four, four, four good guys. Um, and they came in six inch versions and they came in little two and a half inch PVC versions. And during the pandemic, there was something that I had when I was a kid and I absolutely adored them, right? Uh, I had the little PVC versions, but they were never the same size as my Star Wars ones. And I always wanted them to be the same size as my Star Wars figures because I wanted my Space Cowboys to play with my, with my Space Wizards, etc. Um, which is very top of the point with the acolyte at the moment, but we won't, we won't talk about that. Um, but basically, during the pandemic, we went looking, and we, I was like, well, who, who owns this brand now? Because normally, when a toy company went bust, or goes bust, when, which Akamas did in 1992, yeah, one of those, there you go, so there's that one. When the toy company goes broke, they, a major will come in and just sweep. I just scooped the entire catalogue, and that's what happened. And it didn't happen with this. It turned out that the Ackermas Toys catalogue was in fact open, and it was available. We did all of our due diligence, etc., and uh, we went and found who owned and nobody owned, and we did the legal bit and all that, and then 12 months later, we got the paperwork through to sue with the proud owner of the Cosmic Cowboys. And we didn't just get that at that point, we bought Battlehawks and Exchanges, which are the same. Yes, Basically, sir. we had um, we had the paperwork through to say, yeah, uh, we owned it. So since that point, we've been working on it. We've had a few iterations before, it haven't really worked. They haven't really worked, I've never really been happy with them. They haven't really been what I wanted them to be. Um, until the last six months, we started working on them again. And now they are exactly as I want them to be. So this is the first wave, which consists of Iron Jaw, Voidbot, who is from the Cosmic Cowboys comic that we're doing with Beyond the Bunker, uh, Buzzard, and Al Cody. Wave two is already sculpted and in production. Wave three is uh, in the process of going to be. Wow! So we, we also have, there's a, there's a vehicle stroke creature that's on the way and everything. So it's not, this isn't like fleeting, there's isn't like, oh, there's four figures, it's going to stop. It's not. Excellent. Windy. Excellent. And I see something that looks a little bit like um, prototypes here as well. Yes, prototype uh, yak faces, prototype. Um, prototype yak faces, prototype blue snags. Blue snags. So not so blue snags anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> Should have at least painted the boots uh, silver. <laughs> again, just, just, just having fun with it, you know, because uh, at the end of the day, there's, there's plenty of people, if you're so inclined, there's plenty of people who will want a, um, you know, a, a replica blue snag, and there's loads of people out there that make those. Well, we don't want to make those, we want to do something that's more fun. That's why we've got, you know, a translucent holographic blue snag or two. It's blue! It's blue! <laughs> so, you know, having fun. People are far too techly wound. <laughs> this is new, I think, as well, isn't it? V! V is new, yes. Well, th th this particular card back, I'm thinking. Yes, no, those are actually, what they are is we actually did a release for April Fool's Day. Oh, okay. Right? Um, where the day before April Fool's Day, we said, day first of March, we said, we're putting out two figures tomorrow, and everybody thought we were joking. And we, at 9 a.m. the following morning, we released two images that were of two V figures that were based on bootlegs, one from Argentina, one from Italy. Right? Okay, yeah. And everybody thought they were a joke. And we said, no, no, these are available to purchase, but only until midnight. And the people that actually went, oh, didn't just scroll past them, went, oh, hang on a minute. They clicked on it, went, oh, God, they actually are, I can buy them. They bought them. We sold a bunch of them. And then after midnight, everybody went, oh, I thought that was a joke. I was like, no, it's not a joke. They were real. We've just fulfilled them now. But we actually had, during that time period, we had two people, I think it was, with three people, possibly, that basically came back and said, oh, I don't want them anymore. And ah. we said, well, you do realise that if you cancel them, you can't you get them again. And they said, well, I'll, I'll get it if I, want, if, I, if I want them, I'll get them. Or one person even said to us, oh, if I want them, you'll make them for me anyway. Oh, really? That's very presumptuous of them. And I went, oh, I was like, bold of you. <laughs> very, very bold of you. 
so yes. Well, there's some cool stuff there. I'm, I'm probably going to be cherry picking some of those UV ones, those black lights. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to do the whole lot, but I'll definitely be getting some of them. you would do the whole lot. <laughs> but yes. no, very nice. Been brilliant talking to you again. Again, thank you, Gareth, as always. No problem. You take care, won't you? Yeah, and we will sort that live stream. We better do. We will do. <laughs> we will. And there we are. I'm back home now from Bolton Stadium. And I decided this time I'd give you a full and proper look round rather than just showing you the highlights. That's why it's been such a long video. That and the fact that my pal Nick, yeah, I know we can talk, can't we? That's something we both have in common. And yeah, I do look forward to doing a live stream with him at some point, and we do have something to reveal. You might have even noticed a little clue popping up in all of my live streams, popping up in this image that you're seeing right now but that's as much as i'm going to tell you so what did i buy what did i buy what did i pick up myself from bolton toy fair well i bought a few some things it was just a case of it was too cheap not to buy and there were two dinosaurs two jurassic world dinosaurs but again just too cheap not to buy did you do it there there we are so it's one of those get a chompy one not a chomp and stomp because they're the ones that when you bash them down like that they roar and when you do that they, no they roar when you do that and they yeah you know what i mean you know what i mean but yeah that, that one it's not a noise one it's not an electric one but it's definitely a cool t-rex so there was that one there was this guy as well from the same seller that's all these first ones i'm going to show you came from the same seller and this is the is this the indoraptor I'm sure that's the Indoraptor. It's the Indoraptor, isn't it? Complete, it's got the tail, it's got the claws, all the teeth are there, none of the thing, you know, the, the spiny bits, these hairy bits on the back. None of them broke off, it's got his claws on his feet. Awesome, awesome dinosaur to have. And I got a couple of Marvel figures from him. Uh, first two from the Marvel Universe line, that's right. So these are like four inch tall. We've got the um, Rhino. He's a cool figure, nice articulation on him. And I got Venom because I never have a problem selling Venom figures. Kids always want Venom figures. So yeah, we got a pretty cool Venom figure. And another Venom figure, this time from the, well, it's from the Spider-Man 3 line, but it's the ones that um, Hasbro released. So they're not the six inch legend scale ones these are more like five inches tall uh, and yeah you got the sort of movie venom there as well and he comes with his accessory which clips onto his arm and gives you a, a venom head made of rubbery silicone stuff they don't stand up too well to tie but then again the accessories are normally missing from these as well there was an original black ranger from mighty morphin power rangers this is the the flip head one and i did try it before i buy it the mechanism still works there we go uh fairly nice condition it's not mint far from mint but it's fairly nice no weapons unfortunately and we've got a battle beast a battle beast now it comes with a weapon but we haven't checked yet to see whether or not it's the correct weapon for him uh, but yeah it's the back let's put the weapon in his hand for you yeah there we are it's the back guy i don't know his name no idea what his name now he doesn't have his rub sticker so dom i know you've been collecting these i don't know if you've already got this one or not but i know you're looking for him with the rub stickers and with this not having it i'm assuming be a no-go for you sorry about that and then last off that stall in fact I spent money on three stalls this time around just three uh, so yeah off off the same stall got a vintage star wars leia organa princess leia organa and i'm fairly sure that's an original k you don't tend to get dirt and everything, and there's a little bit of dirt on the kit. You don't tend to get dirt on um, repros, if you see what I mean. There's a little bit of dirt on it, a couple of little marks. But you know what there isn't? 
and I never actually checked it before I bought it, it just looked good. There aren't any tears, so that's a good one here, that's a really good one. And she's a nice, nice white, uh, no yellowing, so nice one to pick up is that. Um, yeah, I'm going to move on from that lot, I'm going to show you the stuff that I picked up from Nick at Nima, because was I going to buy anything from Nick at Nima this time around? Of course I was! Now, he still owes me one figure from a bundle that I bought off him a while ago, which is uh, one of the holiday special figures. And um, these three... In fact, now I'll show you the one that I paid for a while ago, last time I got a bundle off him. And it's Nisa from the Star Wars Droids line. I'm not going to waste time, am I going to waste time trying to get her to hold a spear on camera? No, I'll, I'll, I'll blue tack it into her hand later. <laughs> so there she is, Nisa. Princess Nisa, at that. There we go. She'll go up there, just off camera there, uh, with um, all the rest of them. And then, oh, another one. Now this one I actually got, well I paid for before Christmas, but um, I'm waiting for him to do another batch of them and he's finally got round to doing it. And I've got to put the weapons in his hands this time. Probably get them the wrong way around. Let me know in the comments if I've done it the wrong way around. Come on. There we are, it's Darth Revan and he comes with both a red and a purple lightsaber. So yeah, I've, uh, I believe that now makes my Old Republic collection, from Nima Studios at least, complete. So yeah, I'm, I'm well chuffed with that. Um, well chuffed with that. Uh, and then the th I bought three of him. Uh, all of these, uh, they come carded, but I've asked him not to give them carded to me because I take them off the cards. I still want the cards, so when he does another print run of the cards, I get the card and the bubble as well. Uh, but I just, I just put those in storage. I'm a bugger for having the actual card backs, even though I don't keep them on card. They take up less space this way as well. So we've, we've got. Oh, that's that's a that's a new kind of resin that he's using there for that set for that lightsaber. I'll I'll get them all out first. Well, there's three of them, and to be fair, they are a set of three. They are. They're a set of three. I don't know, maybe you can actually see them in my hands anyway. If I am, I'll zoom in on my ugly face. <laughs> right, okay. So... There we are! We've got Luke Skywalker, Mara Jade, and Jorus Cabal, or actually, Jerus Saboath, should I say, uh, because he's the dark and twisted clone of Jorus Cabal. So, yeah, um, they're all from Air to the Empire, which, if you know me at all, I'm a huge, huge Timothy Zahn's Thrawn trilogy fan. So, yeah, we've got. Um, Give you a little close up there of Mara. There she is, in all her glory. There's Jorus. I'm hoping this is actually on on camera. I'm not looking at a, a monitor at all. I'm hoping for the best here. And there's Luke in his black vest. It's essentially a, a Dagobah Luke, isn't it? <laughs> But in a black vest instead of grey. So yeah, that's um, those are what I I was owed and what I've picked up today. And then of his new stuff, I've got black lights in these cabinets, haven't I? So I was gonna get some of those black light figures, and I just went for three this time. Thought I'd be good and not get all of them. So yeah, just three of them. Let's get them all out to show you. As previously mentioned, I'm a big Grand Admiral Thrawn fan, so I was going to be getting the Thrawn. And what colour would he be in other than blue? It has to be blue for Thrawn, doesn't it? It's the colour of his skin. 
I think it's hologram, so it could always be an Imperial hologram. Uh, Granddad was wrong, so yeah. Well suited with that one, very, very happy. This one, it's just because the colour pops so well. So well. And that would be... I can get him to hold his lights here, <laughs> we can. No, I can't get him to hold his lightsaber, one tick. Right, well the fact is he comes with a double-ended lightsaber, so that should give you an idea of who he is. It's the Darth Maul. Now this looks pink to me, but he says this is the red, and there was a lighter one, which obviously was the, the pink, but... Yeah, and no, this is very obviously red, but where I'm sitting while I'm filming this, I'm moulding it up in front of the light that's shining on me. So that light is shining straight through it, which makes the red look a lot lighter, which makes it look pink. So there you are. I know, it's red. Back to me. <sighs> Again, just awesome. And you could see in the video what it looked like under, under black light, and yeah. I look forward to end up doing a display at some point in here with a load of black friends. Yeah, that's um, that's more. And then last, but certainly not least, I had to get um, the big badass bounty hunter, the original Boba Fett. Yeah, he's nice. It's just that acid green. Yeah, it had to be done. Had to be done. I've asked him if he'll do a Yoda in this as well, because I think that would look quite cool, but he, he's like, no, no, because he doesn't want to have to do the, the soft goods for the, for, the, for the robe, so to speak. So I get it. I get why he didn't want to do it, but I'd be happy with just a non-accessory figure, to be fair. So yeah, that's everything, bar two items. That's everything that I picked up from, from Bolton. And I have saved what I think is the best two for last. Now I just selected these black light figures from Nick at Nima and and after, I, I, after I was just about finished talking with him and I looked up and literally two or three rows behind him I could see what was on the top row of the stalls there and I was like boom I've got to go by Nick and I, I pegged it around these aisles to get there and I was like oh my god look at that and oh, look at that indeed now it's coming in its original box which I didn't know at the time that it had the box but yeah you've seen this already in the thumbnail look at that 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 is absolutely amazing and that has made my day it really has made my day i thought it was fantastic i'm not even an astro boy fan i've never seen anything astro boy at all i've had a couple of astro boy bits in the, in the shop i've never watched it i've never seen it i know what it is but when i saw that i, I, I just gotta get it i've gotta get it and i'm really really happy with that now whether or not i just use these as display in the shop window or whether I just keep them at home for myself anyway, I don't know, I haven't decided. These are not for sale. And I'm saying these, do you know why I'm saying these? Because there was two of them. And the guy did me an amazing deal on the two as well, so, so there's that guy. And then there's this one as well. Look at that! <laughs> He's showing off his little robot hat. That, amazing! I think these are absolutely wonderful. Now the guy on the stall next to this, it was all the, oh, sorry if I get this wrong, but I'm fairly sure it's all the cool stuff is the name of that business. And even that guy, he was like, this one is the best one. This is amazing. This is fantastic. Personally, I prefer this guy, but <laughs> there's not much in it, is there? They're both fantastic. And yeah, I'm, I'm well happy with my purchases this time round. Uh, yeah, very, very happy. I need to clean him up. He's got a little bit of dirt on the end of his nose. I didn't see that. I know he's raised. I'll clean that off in a bit. But yeah, really, really happy with these. Now, I did say it came with the box, so I'll show you the box as well. Well, this one didn't. That one did. And when I saw the box, I was even more surprised because I've heard of the manufacturer 
uh, Billiken, and they're a good company when it comes to Japanese soft vinyl toys. And yeah, I'm. Oh, look at it! Yeah, I, I'm really happy with it. I, I want to actually have a quick look to see whether or not it says year on it. I, I've had a quick Google, and there's some people claiming this is early 2000s, that, which I, sounds about right to me. But then there's other people saying that they're early 90s, and I don't think it's early 90s. It doesn't say. It doesn't say anywhere on the bottom. I, I, I think early 2000s. Fuck that! Anyway, <laughs> I'll stop gushing over my Astro Boy that I know very little about now. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm well happy, well happy with everything that I've picked up. I know the figures that are for the shop is something here. They're not special, not not amazing, nothing great. Uh, there was nothing to show you this week in terms of um, shop trading, so that's why I had to do this Walter video. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if there was anything that you saw on those tables that you wouldn't have been able to leave there and you would have been bringing home with you. And let me know if there's anything that I picked up that you think is great. And more to the point, let me know if there's anything that you think is a total pile of Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you again next time. Take care. Bye bye! <laughs>